Hello dear friends, I am Amit Belekar from Tips and Tricks by AMB welcomes you to my channel. Before starting with today's presentation, let us me ask you a question. How will we come to know that each tablet we manufacture will start its effect in our body after same time after its administration? If you want to know answer of this question, don't skip any portion of this presentation. Before moving further, if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon to get notifications of all my new videos. Already we had discussed various non-official tests and some of the official tests of evaluation of tablets. In this presentation, we are going to discuss one of the important evaluation tests of tablets that is disintegration test. After going through this presentation, the learner will be able to evaluate quality of tablets, perform official evaluation test of tablets that is disintegration test. Already we discussed that after manufacturing or during manufacturing tablets are evaluated for quality control test to check and maintain quality of the tablets. We also discussed that there are two types of evaluation test for tablets as official evaluation test and non-official evaluation test. We also discussed that content uniformity of active ingredient in the tablet, uniformity of weight, disintegration test for the tablets, dissolution test of the tablets are official tests. We also discussed that shape of the tablets, appearance of the tablets and mechanical strength of the tablets like hardness test and friability test are non-official test. In this presentation, we are going to discuss one of the important official test of the tablets that is disintegration test. Before dealing with disintegration time test, let us see what is disintegration and what is disintegration time. Breaking of a tablet into smaller pieces or particles after its administration is called as disintegration and the time required to disintegrate the tablet is called as disintegration time. Now let us discuss when to perform disintegration test. Disintegration test is performed depending upon the use of tablet. The test of disintegration is required in tablets which are swallowed orally. And let us see when disintegration test is not desired. The tablets which are dissolved by solution in mouth like lozenges or chewed in mouth cavity like chewable tablets or the tablets which are to be dissolved in water before administration like effervescent tablets, dispensing tablets, hypodermic tablets, tablet triturates do not need the disintegration test. The rate of disintegration of tablets differ from tablet to tablet as composition of tablets is not same. Excipients used in the formulation of tablet affects the disintegration time of the tablet. Now let us see normal disintegration time of tablet prescribed in pharmacopoeia. Generally, if disintegration time is not indicated in monograph of drug, it is considered as 15 minutes. Sometimes specific time is indicated in specific monogram. Now let us see the apparatus used for disintegration test. All the specifications of disintegration test apparatus are given in Indian pharmacopoeia. Disintegration test apparatus has following parts. First is 
a rigid basket rack assembly. It consists of six cylindrical transparent glass tubes with 21.5 mm internal diameter, 2 mm wall thickness and 77.5 mm length. These tubes are held vertically by two plastic plates with 90 mm diameter having six equidistant holes with same diameter as that of tubes. The holes are at the same distance from center and have equal spacing from one another. That is, these are equidistant in nature. At the lower end, tubes have woven wire gauze made from stainless steel. Upper and lower plates are held together by three metal rods at the periphery and one metal rod in the center. Central rod is connected to a mechanical device which moves basket track assembly up and down with the help of motor at a rate of 28 to 32 times per minute. Next part is a beaker. A beaker having capacity of 1000 ml is kept below the basket track assembly. Distilled water or liquid medium as specified in the monograph is kept in the beaker. And another part is cylindrical guide disc. Six discs are present made up of transparent plastic. Discs have thickness of 9.5 mm and a diameter of 20.7 mm. Five holes, each 2 mm in diameter, one in the center and other four spaced equally on a circle of radius of 6 mm from the center of the disc are present on the disc. Four equally spaced grooves are cut in the lateral surface of the disc. Each disc have relative density of about 1.18 to 1.20. Now let's discuss how this test is performed. Fill the beaker with specific quantity of distilled water or liquid medium as specified in the monograph. The temperature of liquid medium is maintained at 37 degree Celsius plus minus 2 degree Celsius. Take 6 tablets randomly from the batch and place one tablet in each tube of the basket rack assembly. Then add cylindrical guide disc one in each tube. Suspend the basket rack assembly in the liquid medium so that the wire mesh at the highest point is at least 25 mm below the surface of the liquid and at its lower point 25 mm above the bottom of the beaker. The operational procedure of test is modified according to type of tablets as for uncoated tablets, coated tablets and entry coated tablets. We will discuss all these operational procedures one by one. First, we will discuss the operational procedure for uncoated tablets. Operate the apparatus so that basket rack assembly moves in the liquid medium up and down at the rate of 28 to 32 times per minute. At the end of 15 minutes or after the time specified in the individual monograph, lift the basket from the liquid and observe for the tablets. The sample passes the test if all the tablets have disintegrated. If three or more tablets remain in the tubes, the test fails. If one or two tablets fails to disintegrate, repeat the test on 12 additional tablets. The sample passes the test if not less than 16 of the total 18 tablets tested have disintegrated. Next type of operational modification is for coated tablets. 
If coated tablets are tested, first keep one tablet in each tube. Immerse the basket in water at room temperature for 5 minutes and then add a disc to each tube. Then suspend the basket rack assembly in the liquid medium maintained at 37 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degrees Celsius and operate the apparatus. At the end of 60 minutes or after the time specified in the individual monograph, lift the basket from the liquid and observe it for the tablets. The sample passes the test if all the tablets have disintegrated. If any of the six tablets fails to disintegrate, repeat the test on further six tablets replacing water in beaker with 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid. The sample passes the test if all the tablets have disintegrated. If one or two tablet still fails to disintegrate, Repeat the test on 12 additional tablets using 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid. The sample passes the test if not less than 16 of 18 tablets tested in acid have disintegrated. Next operational modification is for entry coated tablets. If entry coated tablets are tested, First, keep the tablet in each tube. Operate the apparatus without disc in 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid maintained at 37 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid simulates environment of the stomach. If no tablet shows signs of disintegration or cracks, then add a disc to each tube and operate the apparatus in mixed phosphate buffer having pH 6.8 maintained at 37 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degrees Celsius, which stimulates the environment of intestine. At the end of 60 minutes, of operating the basket in mixed phosphate buffer, remove the assembly from the liquid and observe the tablets. The sample passes the test if all the six tablets have disintegrated. Test fails if three or more tablets fails to disintegrate. If one or two tablets fails to disintegrate, repeat the test on 12 additional tablets. The sample passes the test if not less than 16 of total 18 tablets tested have disintegrated. Now let's discuss disintegration time for tablets to be dissolved in solution. Disintegration time for dispersible tablets and tablets for solution preparation is 3 minutes. And Disintegration time for effervescent tablets is 5 minutes. Now it's time to summarize today's session. We had discussed that breaking of tablet into small pieces is called as disintegration. Disintegration is important for dissolution and ultimately for absorption of drug. Then we had discussed disintegration test apparatus, basket rack assembly, beaker and cylindrical guide disc are the parts of this apparatus. We had discussed operation of this apparatus with operational modifications for the test of different types of the tablets. We also discussed the criteria for the passing of disintegration test. Thank you for listening me patiently. If you like this presentation, please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications of all further videos. Like it and share it to your dear ones. Drop your queries in comments or on my mail address which is given in the video. Thank you once again.